Last year, world leaders took two historical decisions. One was the Sustainable Development Goals and the other was the Climate Agreement in Paris. This charts a course to a zero carbon, zero poverty world. That has our total support, but we need governments to act, we need employers to act, we need to be part of the dialogue. Every country needs a national plan for a just transition. We need to see that the energy mix is transitioned to renewable energy. We need to see that all businesses undergo industrial transformation that is both about uh, energy but also increasingly about the circular economy, reusing what we can, reducing carbon emissions in the way in which we organise our work. That dialogue has to be part of ongoing collective bargaining with employers as well as workers, employers and governments making sure that they have the facilities in place, the enabling environment for decent work, for renewable energy and indeed we want our investors, our pension funds, to make sure that they're investing in those companies that are committed to transitioning, that have their own uh, plan for uh, a transition that guarantees a two degrees impact at best. We know that without that dialogue the world will fail, it will fail the human race, who will be increasingly affected by climate change and ultimately if we don't meet the targets many, many communities will be wiped out. But we also know that decent work is the result of a just transition. We own all of the employees. We have in fact the climate activists, we're very proud of them. We were essential part of making sure just transition and human rights were in an agreement that was ambitious, two degrees or less, saving the planet in a form where human beings can survive. But we also have the new energy workers and we're organising them. They're good jobs, jobs for our children and grandchildren. We, we likewise have deep respect and we demand respect for the workers in fossil fuels who bought us the prosperity of today. We will make sure that for older workers their pensions are secure. For younger workers they have the skills and are supported in redeployment and that for communities, vulnerable communities, there is investment for renewal. That's what Just Transition is. That's our mission. We will leave no one behind.